Just worship then. What do we worship? Mm. One single unifying equation that explains everything in the universe. Really? Yes. What's the equation? <laughs> that is the question. I had a very good question. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. But I intend to find out. Set at the University of Cambridge, young Stephen Hawking meets Jane Wilde at a party. The Theory of Everything is a biographical romantic drama film released in 2014, directed by James Marsh. The movie is based on the life of the renowned theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking, focusing on his relationship with his first wife, Jane Hawking, and his battle with ALS. The film stars Eddie Redman and Felicity Jones in the lead roles. Over time, young Stephen Hawking begins a relationship with literature student Jane Wilde. Although Stephen is intelligent, his friends and professor are concerned about his lack of a thesis topic. After he and his professor, Dennis Saima, attend a lecture on black holes, Stephen speculates that black holes may have been part of the creation of the universe, and decides to write his thesis on them, and tells Jane all about it. If Einstein is right, right if general relativity is correct, then the yes. universe is expanding, yes? Yes. Okay, so, if you reverse time, then the universe is getting smaller. All right. So. What if I reverse the process all the way back to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? At the beginning of time itself? Yes. So the universe getting smaller and smaller, getting denser and denser, hotter and hotter you as mean we... wind back the clock? Yeah, exactly, wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> you're winding back the clock. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> as he begins working on his theory, Stephen's muscles begin to fail giving him decreasing coordination with his body. One day after a big fall, he learns he has motor neuron disease, which will eventually leave him unable to move, swallow, and even breathe. There are no treatments, and he has approximately two years to live. The doctor assures Stephen that his brain will not be affected, so his thoughts and intelligence will remain intact, but eventually, he will be unable to communicate them. As Stephen becomes reclusive, and close off to everyone around him, Jane presses in and confesses she loves him. I love you. He, you, that, you you've left her, that's a false conclusion. I want us to be together for as long as we've got, and if that's not very long, well then that's just how it is. It'll have to do. You don't know what's coming. It'll affect everything. She silences him with a kiss and reassures him of her love. Jane tells his father she intends to stay with Stephen even as his condition worsens. They marry and have their first son, Robert. In the meanwhile, Stephen has chosen time as his subject of focus. Years later, he presents his thesis to the examination board, arguing that a black hole created the universe in a big bang, that it will emit heat and end in a big crunch. He begins using a wheelchair after his walking ability deteriorates. This is temporary. After the Hawkings have their daughter Lucy, Stephen develops a theory about the visibility of black holes and become a world-renowned physicist. Jane, focusing on the children as well as Stephen's health and increasing fame, is unable to work on her own thesis and becomes frustrated. Stephen tells her he will understand if she needs help. She joins a church choir where she meets widower Jonathan and they become close friends. She employs him as a piano teacher for Robert and Jonathan befriends the entire family, helping Stephen with his illness, supporting Jane, and playing with the children.
when Jane gives birth to another son, Timothy, Stephen's mom asks Jane if the baby is Jonathan's, which she denies. Jonathan is appalled, but when he and Jane are alone, they admit their feelings for one another. He distances himself from the family, but Stephen tells him Jane needs him. While attending an opera performance in Bordeaux, Stephen is taken ill and rushed to the hospital. The doctors inform Jane that he has pneumonia and that he needs a tracheotomy to survive, but it will leave him mute. There's no question. Stephen must live. I will see he gets everything he needs. I will have him transferred back to Cambridge. He may not survive the journey. Yes, he will. After the surgery, Stephen learns to use a spelling board and uses it to communicate with Elaine, his new nurse. Over time, the two bond. Stephen receives a computer with a built-in voice synthesizer and uses it to write a book, A Brief History of Time, which becomes an international bestseller. Stephen tells Jane he has been invited to the United States to accept an award and will be taking Elaine with him. Jane faces the realization that the marriage has not been working and that it has come to an end. I have loved you. As heartbreaking as it was, they agree to divorce. Stephen goes to the lecture with Elaine, the two have fallen in love, and Jane and Jonathan reunite. At the lecture, Stephen sees a student drop a pen. He imagines getting up to return it, almost crying at the reminder of how his disease has affected him. He goes on to give a speech telling audience to pursue their ambitions despite the harsh reality of life. While there is life, there is hope. We are all different. However bad life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. While there is life, there is hope. Stephen invites Jane to meet Queen Elizabeth II with him when being made a member of the Order of the Companion of Honor. After their meeting with the Queen, Jane thanks Stephen for the day and the extraordinary opportunity of a life they lived together. After thanking him, Stephen replies, Look what we made. The series comprised of moments in reverse shows flashbacks all the way back to the moment Stephen first saw Jane. The reversal is reminiscent of Stephen's research methodology of reversing time to understand the beginning of the universe. Jane has her PhD in medieval Spanish poetry, she and Jonathan are happily married, Jane and Stephen remain friends and now have three grandchildren. The theory of everything is a poignant exploration of love, perseverance, and the triumph of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming challenges. Eddie Redmond's portrayal of Stephen Hawking earned him critical acclaim and an Academy Award for Best Actor, capturing the essence of Hawking's determination and resilience. Felicity Jones' performance as Jane Hawking also received praise for her depiction of a woman who remained steadfast despite significant personal sacrifices. The film offers an intimate and emotional look at one of the most brilliant minds of our time and the people who supported him throughout his journey. The phrase wind back the clock is an idiom that means to revert to a previous time, situation, or state of affair, either literally or metaphorically. It often suggests a desire to return to an earlier point in time, whether for nostalgic reasons or to correct something that has gone wrong. 
For example, if I could wind back the clock, I'd choose a different career path. The phrase, there is no question, is an idiomatic expression that means something is certain or beyond doubt. It implies that there is no ambiguity, debate, or need for further inquiry about a particular topic or issue. For example, there's no question that she's the best candidate for the job. That's it for this episode of Cinephile. You can find more on the Fun Day website. Let's make every day a fun day. Hello. Hello. Science. Arts. English. French and Spanish. What about you? What, what, what are you? Oh, cosmologist. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? It's a kind of religion for intelligent atheists.